Hey guys, it's me again, Abby, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going back to Philippines again. Um, last time I went to Philippines was my birthday. I did celebrate yung birthday ko. And then this time around, I'll be um, visiting my family kasi um, undas na. And also, we're going to celebrate yung um, one year that anniversary ng tatay ko, nung papa ko. So, um, today, um, excited ako umuwi. Unlike kung per last time, kasi syempre medyo... Um, Bad news yun. It was uh, the day na nawala si Papa. But this time around, I um, will be celebrating yung hanyang one year um, anniversary sa heaven. Well, um, for this vlog, I'm gonna share with you kung ano yung mga usual um, gamit na dinadala ko uh, during my trip. So, um, I've been traveling back and forth sa Philippines dito sa Singapore. So, medyo sanay na rin ako kung ano yung mga policies na ginagawa nila dito sa terminal. So, today I'm gonna share with you kung ano ba yung laman ng aking um, carry-on. So, wala akong check-in ngayon. I've decided na to go for a check-in luggage kasi um, natagtibit tayo ngayon. Well, kasi babalik pa ulit ako sa Philippines ulit for the trip naman namin to Japan on this coming November. So, I'm gonna share with you kung ano yung mga laman ng aking um, carry-on. So, yung carry-on ko kasi meron ako isang maleta which is, I believe it's more than 7 kg. So, kung tutuusin, um, extra siya. Pero since kasi dito sa terminal sa Singapore, hindi ganun ka hikpit. So, siguro isa rin ang magiging tip ko na ibibigay sa inyo is that um, when you're going to travel, actually, pwede kayo mag-research based yun sa mga terminal um, restriction or policies kasi nila. Sa Philippines, definitely um, tried and tested na talaga yan. Super hikpit regardless of which airline you're going to take. Kinikilo nila, kalimitan yung um, ating hand carry. So, medyo mahigipit sila doon na kapag nag ka or nag ka ng 7kg, baka ma-charge ka nila or kailangan mong remove yung item mo. So, dito kasi hindi ganun kahigpin as I mentioned and then medyo high-tech na kasi dito. So, I'm here in Terminal 4 Changi Airport dito sa Singapore and this um, terminal um, yung nagtatravel dito is or yung airlines na nandito is yung normally Cebu Pacific, Korean and Japan dito rin. Um, so, I'm gonna share with you na kung ano yung laman ng aking item. Okay, so I have uh, one um, carry-on na uh, luggage. Uh, and then, I have one backpack over here. So, ito yung aking ginagamit na personal bag. So, ito yung backpack ko. And then, ito yung aking kilo. And then, pagbukas mo dito. So, I have bring my essentials. So, I have my laptop over here. So, ito yung aking MacBook. Nandito siya. Yan. Yes, mabigat siya. Ito kasi yung MacBook Pro. Uh, Siyempre, yung MacBook Air, medyo magaan yun. Most more handy. Ito kasi MacBook Pro, mabigat siya. But, um, super great tong uh, MacBook na to. And then, I have also here yung aking um, uh, makeup kit. So, nilagay ko siya dito lahat. So, ano bang laman nito? Pakita ko sa inyo. More on travel size yung nilalaman nito. So, I have here yung eyeshadow ko, which is uh, yung part. And then, I have here yung um, ito the house na very delicious na um, pang blush on. It's a cream blush on. Mabilis kasi siyang ilagay. And then, I have over here yung concealer ko which is yung um, makeup forever. Matagal na to. Hindi ko pa siya napapaltan. Well, napakatipid kasi niyang gamitin. And then, um, nagdala lang ako ng aking eyeliner pencil. At the moment, I'm using yung etude. Pero ngayon, kasi pag nag-travel ako, hindi ako naglalagay. Kasi most likely, tatanggalin ko rin yung makeup ko ngayon. Meron akong lip tint and konting blush dito. And then, I have here yung aking concealer brush. And yung another um, tart na um, to, uh, blush on din. Yan, minsan ito gusto kong gamitin. And then, I do have here yung aking eyeshadow again from Etude. Ito yung eyeshadow na pinapartner ko dito sa tart. Then, um, since 
um, seven days lang naman ako sa Philippines, I do have here yung aking um, Bio Gold 24K Gold na moisturizer na ginagamit. So, mga ganyan lang ginagamit ko kapag ako nagtatravel. And then, eto is yung um, lotion. Actually, nakuha ko lang to no, nag-genting trip kami. So, ayan. Eto siya. And then, I also have here yung aking highlighter, which is yung Becca in the shade of Champagne Pop. And, um, yung aking brush ng MAC for my blush on. And then, what else? Okay, I do have here yung aking cotton pads pag ako yung nag-cleanse ng aking face. And then, the rest of my item here was, uh, this one is another one from Becca. It's a highlighter, liquid highlighter. Natry ko to, super ganda niya. Well, um, I think I'm gonna use this one sa mga cold weather. Pag sa atin, medyo mainit, uh, malagkit siya sa pakiramdam. So, I don't advise you to use it. And then, I have here um, two MAC uh, bullet lipstick in the shade of um, taupe and um, please me. So I'm using matte um, pagdating sa MAC. Mas gusto ko or mas preferred ko sa lips ko is yung matte kasi I feel lighter and um, hindi kasi medyo malakapal yung lips ko so mas maganda siyang tignan kapag naka matte lipstick ka. And then I have here yung tatlong lip tint. So I'm having here yung tatlong lip tint ko which I purchased from Innisfree. So this one is on the lighter shade. Ang shade nito is hindi ko alam ko anong tawag. Okay. Kasi ang nakalagay lang dito is by number. So this one is in number 7 Vivid Cotton Ink. And then this one natanggal ko na siya. Medyo pa orangey yung kulay nito. And then I have over here on the other hand is my Vivid Cotton Ink again on number 8. So ito yung hard na ginagamit ko. So ganito siya kapag nasa lips. Yeah, so that's the full items I have here on my pouch. And then, lagay lang natin siya ulit. Yeah, so ganito ako pag nag nagta-travel. So, ako kasi kapag ako napunta sa ibang bansa and then kapag nag-check in sa mga hotel, nahingi ako ng additional or extra um, mga ganito lotions kasi magagamit mo yan kapag nag-travel ka. So, hindi mo na kailangan bumili pa nung uh, sa, sa, sa Watsons for the travel na essentials. Yeah, ito yung laman ng aking pouch. And then over here, I have my shades um, na yan. Yung aking ever favorite na shades na from Prada. Yan. Lagi ko siyang ginagamit every time I go travel. And then I do have here my wallet. So, small wallet lang ginagamit ko. Itong wallet na to, um, nagustuhan ko siya, yung color, and then yung laman niya, ganyan siya, and yeah, napaka easy access na everything, pati yung coins yan, ganyan. Ano lang to guys, mini so lang yan. <laughs> nagustuhan ko siya. And I have over here, syempre, I always have a uh, wet tissue, uh, sa wet tissue, wet tissue sa aking, um, bag. So, syempre, essentials yan. Kailangan natin yan. And, yeah. So, this time around, ito yung aking mga liquid items. So, I will advise, if you are going to have a liquid items, yes, um, check nyo kung anong um, restriction. So, normally, standard demand din yun, yung restriction for the airline kapag magta-travel ka. At least, um, 100 ml. Not more than 100 ml. So, ito yun. Um, I put it on a sealed uh, bag, yung plastic na transparent para madali siya makita. And then, I have here my contact lens, yung aking Vio na Nivea, and then my solutions, and ito yung aking toner, and then I have here yung aking alcohol na cleanser. So, uh, one thing I've noticed ngayon sa pag-travel ko is that, um, dun sa scanning part, after mo dun sa dumaan ng immigration, nakapag checking ka na, dumaan ka na ng immigration, and then, um, yung pinakalas ang um, final scanning part dito sa Terminal 4, um, they normally ask you kung meron kang liquid na dala. So, even if it's less than 100, um, kailangan mo siyang tanggalin, and then you're going to put it in a small, um, uh, na tray. So, ganun na yung policy ngayon. Well, that one, I think, it's been, has been going on sa ibang bansa when I travel to Europe, ganun yung practice nila. Well, ngayon dito sa Terminal 4, ganun na rin yung ginagawa nila. 
Pero sa ibang terminal, um, same pa rin. Hindi naman nila pinapatanggal. And then, for the laptop, before, pinapatanggal nila sa bag. Now, hindi na. So, nagkakasama na siya doon sa loob ng tray. Okay, what else I have here? So, another pouch I have here. So, yan. <laughs> Itong pouch na to is souvenir for my galing sa birthday ng anak ko. Yung, nung nag one year old siya. Ito yung naging isa sa mga souvenir niya. And then, yung nasa loob nito is another pouch wallet. Yes, may ligaw sa mga pouches. Kasi gusto ko mas organized yung lagay niya. So, yung laman nito <clears throat> is I have my plus and then um, yung aking um, drops for my eyes. And I have over here yung bali. Pag ako nagkaroon ng blisters just in case pag may suit tayong bagong new shoes. And then I have over here another um, floss to Medyo kailangan ko yan every time. Kasi after I eat, gusto kong talagang malinis yung nipin. And then, I have here my biogesic. Ito lang yung aking laging iniinom pag masakit ang ulo ko. And if, and if I'm not feeling well. And then, ah, syempre, may allergy kasi ako. So, I have here my um, celestamine. Yan. So, this is everything here in my small pouch wallet. And then, eto yung um, holder siya ng drinks. Bigay sa akin to. It's, I think, from Taiwan. Bigay sa akin to na kaibigan ko. Hi, Henry! Thank you for this. Lagi ko siyang dala whenever I go out. So, lagi lang siya nasa bag ko. And then, I have over here yung wireless mouse ko. Same. Siyempre, yung aking favorite color. And then, the rest na nasa loob will be my um, charger and cable. So, I have here my um, charger for my Apple Watch, my MacBook, and then yung mga dami akong dalang plugs like this and another cable here na pwede natin convert from micro and then yung kanyang lightning cable. And I do have here another fast charger na adapter which is this one. Yeah. Ito yung pinaka handy travel size kasi natitiklop mo yung pin niya. So, push mo lang siya and then like this and then you can close it. Hindi kasi kagaya yung iba. So, talagang nakagano nakalabas na. So, naka, parang matutusok ka. Yeah. So, that will be inside. Lagay muna natin siya dito. And then, I also have here, ano ba ba? Yeah. <laughs> I have here my cushion. So, I just recently purchased yung peripera na ink cushion nila. Napaka cute nito kapag inopen mo. It's a very para like this yung cushion niya i'm in the shade of pink sand so ganito yung kulay niya first time kong gagamit ng cushion ng peri para but normally for peri para gusto gusto ko yung mga lip tint nila very light lang din but and affordable din naman siya in fairness and then what else i have over here yung aking wireless headset as always yung aking wireless headset ng Sony yep Ito ang pinaka the best para sa akin kasi kailangan ko ng noise cancellation. Gusto ko makapag-focus kapag ako nanonood kay Tulfo. Yes. And I have here my um, bag. So, meron akong shoulder bag sa loob ng aking backpack. So, yan. This one is from Kate Spade. And then, ito yung gagamitin ko kapag ako nasa Philippines. Para um, nandito lang yung wallet. That's why I use this size of wallet para pwede ko siyang ilagay dito and then I can put my phone and some of the um, sanitizers. And then inside is another wallet which is Kate Spade wallet. Hindi ko siya ito nagagamit itong long wallet ito so I'm gonna give it to my um, sister-in-law. Yeah, hi! Hi there! And then what else I have? So nothing more here sa loob. So ganun yung nilalaman ng aking bag and then sa pocket. I think I have here yung aking kailangan ng cable para madali ko siya makuha. So, ito yung aking pampunas ng aking mirror ng eyeglasses and then another cable over here for iPhone. Yes, madami akong cable. I prefer to have a lot of cable to bring it um, when I travel para pag may mga ilangang manghiram, then I can lend it to them. And then keys for the house yung aking pen. I always bring pen. Mahirap nang walang sandata, you know. And then I have here my um, supply. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, today nga pala, um, wala na kasi akong time para umuwi sa bahay. So, unfortunately, after work, I need to rush here dito sa airport. So, walang ligo si ate mo. But, kahit naman wala tayong ligo, syempre, meron tayong toothbrush to brush, you know. So, um, palagi ko rin, uh, minimake sure na dala ko yung aking um, toothbrush sa carry on and then um, I also make sure na meron ako mga pads kasi mahirap na kapag um, kailangan natin, hindi natin inaasahan. So, well, that's my um, ready to go to na carry on na ginagawa whenever I travel and I have here my pillow. Normally kasi hindi ko naman ito ginagamit din. Dito sa neck ko, hinahag ko lang siya while I sa travel kapag matutulog. And I normally choose yung timing na ganito, mga midnight flight para hindi ako, para makatulog ako. Kasi kapag morning, medyo hindi ako nakakatulog. And medyo napapansin ko, mabilis na akong mainip sa oras. Parang gusto ko na hagad na makapunta sa destination na pupuntahan ko. Well, um, siguro yung tips pa na pwede kong ibigay sa inyo when you're going to travel, yeah, apart from checking yung terminal, make sure na merong kang nakapag-online check-in na kayo. Well, earlier I did an online, actually yesterday I did an online check-in and unfortunately, nagkamali ako ng nilagay ng name, um, nagkaroon ako ng type or error, pero tumawag na ako sa customer service nila and then they able to rectify it, so nakapag-online check-in na ako. But, nung nag-scanning na ako dito sa South Hub Kios, I wasn't able to get my boarding pass, so nag uh, punta ako dun sa assistant and then yun, sila yung nag out ng boarding pass ko. Medyo kinibahan ako dun kasi ayoko pumunta dun sa may, um, counter kasi baka ma kilo nila yung aking um, carry on and it's more than 7 kg definitely kaya hindi na ako nag try pa dun and then um, ano pa bang pwede kong i-share sa inyo apart from this one guys um, so make sure lang din na uh, yung mga hazardous items yun check nyo yun yung mga bagay na hindi natin pwede i-carry on kailangan alam nyo yung mga list na yun and um so, ang uh, aking pinaka-suggested lang din sa inyo is when you're going to travel, make sure na you have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of time para just in case na kailangan niyo yun, kaya nung nangyari sa akin na kailangan kong pumunta sa um, assistance nung sa counter. And then, kanina din while going here, kasi from work going to the airport, it will just take me around 15 to 20 minutes drive. Kaya lang yung aking bus, kasi nakyan is to magal siya dun sa terminal 2 ng around 10 minutes. So, isipin nyo kung napaka exactong timing lang yung yaalat nyo during your travel, then, uh, medyo mahirap na kayo. Ayun yun naman na mag, ma, ano kayo, no, ma stress out kung magbabakasyon lang naman na kayo. Well, so basically that's it, and um, I shall see you on my uh, next vlog. Siguro sa Philippines na ako noon, and I'm gonna update you on my upcoming travels to Japan. Yeah, so if you're going, if you're enjoying this video, um, please don't forget to like my videos, and don't forget to subscribe na rin, and don't forget also to press that bell button para ma notify you every time na magkaharon na ako ng bagong video. Well, that's it, guys. I shall see you again on the next one. Bye, love you. Mwah.